What's up guys? Welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva, and today we are going to be doing another viewer requested cocktail. This is only the second one we've done that I've been able to get around to. Um, and it was requested by uh, one of our viewers, Craig Stansbury, and he wanted us to do the South Down Suarez. And this video uses home homemade horchata. Um, definitely check the uh, link above to go to the horchata episode to learn how to make it. We made it from scratch. We use Jeffrey Morgenthaler's recipe. Now, this cocktail is a modern classic from Jeffrey Morgenthaler. He developed it with his uh, one of his bartenders, Benjamin Amberg at Clyde Common. I don't want to get into the whole process of what, um, like what the process was for them to create this, um, because Jeffrey Morgenthaler's got a great blog. You should definitely read the article. I put a link below to it so that you guys can go read the article about the South Down Suarez and kind of how we developed it. And just be better if he told you that and not me. Uh, so the other thing that I really love about this cocktail is from reading the blog that Jeffrey Morgenthaler, uh, the blog post about this, Jeffrey Morgenthaler said this cocktail was named after his favorite Led Zeppelin song on his least favorite Led Zeppelin album, which I just love. All right, let's get into it. First thing we're... Okay, maybe I'm not as slick. I'm not so slick today that I can throw things around and catch it. It's fine. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, half an ounce of agave syrup. Okay, half an ounce. It's gonna come out slowly. I like to put the agave syrup in first because then when you put the when you put the alcohol in there, it. Um, oh, I got it. Sorry, guys. I like to put the agave in there first because um, when you put alcohol in there, it'll kind of loosen it up a little bit and you get more out. See, there's a little residual. And then we're going to do half an ounce of lime juice. We're going to do one and a half ounces of horchata that we house made, which is good because, you know, this is like a creamy cocktail that you can make without actually using egg white or cream. It's like a rice based uh, creaminess and that's really awesome. And then we're gonna do one and a half ounces of Reposado tequila. And then we are going to do one teaspoon of Bekarovka. Now, Bekarovka, Bekarovka is a Czech liqueur and its main flavor component, although people do say that they taste ginger in there, is cinnamon. So this is going to be a very cinnamon forward drink. I did a little testing and hopefully Morgenthaler won't be upset with me, but I also found that if it is a little too cinnamon forward for you, you could actually sub out that one teaspoon of Bekarovka with uh, falernum and it's actually pretty gosh darn delicious. Um, because this is going to add a little bit more cinnamon and there is quite a bit of cinnamon in the uh, horchata. So, you know, it just depends on how you feel about cinnamon. Personally, I love cinnamon, so we're doing the actual drink. Anyway, I'm going to add our ice to our tins. And we're going to shake it, but it would not be the bar fly if I didn't forget something. So I'm going to come down here and just do this and do this. Luckily, I didn't have to look around for it. Now I'll shake. Center our glass and double strain. That is beautiful. Now, Morgenthaler puts a lime wedge, but I think I'm going to do a little wheel. Did I cut that too thin? I may have cut that too thin. Nah, it's all right. Yeah, there you go. Cut a little lime wheel. You can float it on top or whatever. You can put it on the side. Here we go. The South Bond Suarez. Let's take a sipple. That is delicious. Your horchata imparts creaminess. You've got the lime juice. Um, that's really well balanced with the agave. You still, it's still, even though it's half an ounce and half an ounce is still very tart. 
um, on, on the palate. And obviously the tequila, um, you get kind of those nice, you know, uh, you get that nice uh, body from the Repo tequila. It's really great. So here you go, my friends, the Southbound Suarez. Go make it.